Hi everyone, this is Clarice Bayabos from the ASL English 3. And for today's report, me and my partner, Ms. Nicole Hakasalan, will be discussing to you the Latin America and African literature as well as the poem, the Telephone Conversation, written by Wally Sayaka. So to start it off, I will be the first one to report and discuss to you the Latin America and African literature. I know that all of you are much excited and interested to know this literature from different countries, so I will not hold it further. Let's start. You may all be wondering what is Latin American literature. So Latin American literature, guys, is a written account of the trials and triumphs of the Latin American people. Their literature focuses on the personal, social, or political struggles of the average citizen. Latin American writers are responsible for introducing new literary genres such as magical realism and the philosophical short story. Its popularity with the rest of the world grew from the 1940s on through the 1960s literary boom. The first novel began to appear in Latin American literature during the 19th century, wherein early writers posed questions about national identities or whether European customs should replace local traditions. For example, Jose Hernandez. Jose Hernandez is an Argentinian writer. He wrote the first Latin American epic poem during this period. The poem entitled Martin Ferro criticized the Argentinian president's modernist policies and highlighted the importance of the gotcha to Argentina's national identity. So as you can see in this example now, guys, the focus is on the social and political struggles of people because Latin American writers is more focused to that. Also, guys, during the late 19th century, ushered in a period of modernismo in Latin America, when we say modernismo, it refers to the modernist movement that was occurring internationally at the time. Robin Darius' poem, Azul, was the first poem published and read outside of Latin American society. One of the most influential writers during this period is George Louis Borges. He created the genre of philosophical short stories. After World War II, Latin American literature um, experienced a boom period and the rest of the world began to take an interest in Latin American writers. Writers experimented with new literary styles and writing techniques with a focus on universal in metaphysical things, they found inspiration for the works from George Louis Borges and North American writers such as William Faulkner. The first literary magazine were produced and published to showcase new authors and poets. The style most associated with Latin American literature during the boom period is magical realism. This form, this is a form of prose, incorporates and blends elements of the unbelievable or supernatural with elements of a more realistic nature. The purpose of this style is to give the reader a deeper understanding of realistic events. The style was popularized by Gabriel Garcia Marquez after the publication of 100 Years of Solitude which has been hailed as one of the most important books from Latin America. Okay guys, na na ba idea about Latin American literature? If so, we will now move on to the African literature. So what is African literature? According to dictionary definition, African literature is defined as a literary works of the African continent. African literature consists of a body of work written in many languages and encompasses various genres, ranging from oral literature to literature written on colonial languages. But remember guys, 
African literature is far more than this. You cannot define it into sentences because it is very complex and transcends race, culture, languages, and borders. African literature has, with many elements, forms, meanings, and themes that shape its social experiences and liter um, at and literary traditions which makes defining it a difficult task. But if we just look back to time, no? African literature has origins man good dating back thousands of years to ancient Egypt and writings, which uses pictures to represent words. This ancient Egyptian beginnings led to Arabic poetry, which spread during the Arab conquest of Egypt in the 7th century CE and through Western Africa in 9th century CE. These African and Arabic cultures continued to blend with the European culture and literature to form a unique literary form. Africa experienced several hardships in its long history, which left an impact on the themes of its literature. One hardship which led to many others is that colonization. Coloniza um, colonization is when people leave their country and settle in another land, often one which is already inhibited. The problem with colonization is when the incoming people exploit the indigenous people and the resources of the inhabited land. Colonization led, led to slavery. Millions of African people were enslaved and brought to Western countries around the world from the 16th and 19th century. This spreading of African people largely against their will is called the African diaspora. Sub-Saharan Africa developed a written literature during the 19th and early 20th centuries. This development came as a result of missionaries coming to the area. The missionaries came to Africa to build churches and language school in order to translate religious this led to Africans writing in both European and indigenous languages. Through African literature's history is as long as it is rich, most of the popular works have come out since 1950s, especially the noteworthy Things Fall Apart by Chinua Achibe. Looking beyond the most recent work is necessary to understand the complete development of this collection of literature. I guess that will be the end of my report. I hope you guys have learned something about this discussion. And I will now give the platform to my partner, Ms. Akasalem, as she will be the one to discuss the poem entitled Telephone Conversation.